Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new here. Today I have a VHS haul for you, and also I have a big haul from Poshmark of TV shows. Not all of them are classic TV shows, but quite a few of them are classic. I can't even remember how many because there's a lot. Including one of the coolest um, box sets ever. I'm so excited about this. I had seen this on eBay for years. Um, so I'm super excited I got it. Okay, so I will show you the VHS haul first. I'm, I can't remember how much they were um, because it's been a few weeks, but I did get a few DVDs as well. And with that, I found this one. I've never heard of this before, but we love Thomas Hayden Church um, so much. So when I saw this, I knew that I wanted to get the movie because I'm sure it's good if it has him in it. And um, this is another movie that I've, um, never seen or heard of before, but I thought it looked good, so I decided to get that one as well. And then I saw this movie called Drop Dead Gorgeous, which I'm pretty sure I have seen before, like, in the 90s when it came out, but I don't think I've seen it since. So, now into the VHS. I got this movie, which I've never seen before, but it looked pretty good, so I decided to get that. And then got this movie called Ryan's Daughter, which I've never heard of before either, but it's like a double uh, tape, so it must be pretty long, but MGM's my favorite um, studio. I think I have the most MGM films out of any of my classic films, so decided to get that. I have actually, um, I have heard of this movie before, but I've never seen it before, and I have heard that it's supposedly good, so um, I was surprised we didn't actually already have that one. And then I saw this movie with Winona Ryder and Michelle um, Pfeiffer in it. I've never heard of this before either, but I don't know, I think it might be 90s maybe. Um, and then I saw this movie as well with Jeff uh, Goldblum, which I think he's so funny in everything that I've seen him in. I've never heard of this movie before, but I thought we'd give that one a try. And I found this classic film. Um, and I don't know what possessed me to open it because I usually don't do that, but uh, I decided to pull the tape out. First of all, <laughs> there was a price tag in there that said, like, that was on it that said $87.99, which I thought was insane. But <laughs> then I noticed that the tape is actually moldy inside. And this is actually the first time that this has happened to me. Now, granted, I haven't looked at all of my VHS tapes, but... I've never noticed it before. And then I, I, we found The Princess Bride, which is a movie that I only just recently watched for the first time, like within the last two years maybe, but I did like it. But we were so surprised that we had never, um, like that we had never come across it before. And then um, another movie that I thought we owned was Tremors. We had just been talking about this movie as well. John was saying that when he was a kid and watched it, like he was very scared of it. Um, but it turns out we had Tremors too, so I think we're going to watch those soon because we both haven't seen them since the 90s. And then uh, we found this movie called Volcano. I don't think either one of us had um, heard it or seen it before. Um, and then we found this one with Kevin Costner called Dragonfly. We both really like Kevin Costner movies, so we figured we would give this one a try. It was such a weird day. We were finding so many movies that we had never heard of before. And then um, I found Hamlet. I think there's a few different versions of this, like on film. But this one has quite a few uh, big names in it. Then we've got another um, classic MGM film. That's a double tape. And then I've never seen this movie before, but it caught my eye, and then I noticed that Kirk Douglas was in it, and I bet you it's really funny, so probably try to watch that sometime soon and then I found another classic film that I had never heard of before um I think it's black and white I think from the 40s yeah 1943 and it won a bunch of academy awards so I thought it was probably worth picking up and watching and then uh, this Cider House Rules, I think this might have been from the 90s, maybe the early 2000s. I've heard of this movie, but I've never seen it before, but I saw that it was also an Academy Award winner. So I have heard this movie is good, I just haven't ever watched it. 
Never heard of this movie before either, but it was the best picture at the Cannes Film Festival, so I thought that that would be worth picking up as well. I think I've mentioned before, but if we ever like watch a movie and we don't like it or we know we'll never watch it again, we just donate it. So then I did something that I've actually never done before, and I bought a like blank tape that I had been recorded on. Um, I do see them frequently, but I opened it up and I noticed that the Ewoks movie was the first thing that was taped on it. And, um, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I'm, I haven't watched it yet or like looked at it, but I'm really hoping that like commercials are in it. I love when that happens. Um, but I'm excited about this to give it a watch. Um, I actually used to have a whole bunch of these, but I ended up throwing them away like years and years ago. But now I kind of wish that I kept them. And one time I bought a big lot of VHS and it came with a bunch of blank tapes and I just tossed those away as well. Just not really thinking about it, but apparently people sell these kind of tapes like on eBay for sometimes a lot of money, which I don't know. I just... I didn't really think they would be of any value or anything, but now I wish that I wouldn't have thrown them all away. Anyway, now we'll get into this box. So this was a total of $125 from Poshmark, but John has been winning a bunch of credit from Poshmark, so it's technically free kind of. Um, so I think there was like 18 or 19 total in here, but they were all packaged in these individual little bags so I decided to just go ahead and take them out and then um, cut the bags open so that it would be easier to show you but I was so excited there was a bunch of classic tv shows that I wanted um, and a really really cool box set that I can't believe I got so um, John just put all these things together in a bundle and offered 125 and she accepted so first we got this dvd El Camino which is like the post um breaking bad movie uh we love that show and then this is something i've been wanting for a long time just these um old classic sitcoms but it's like christmas episodes i love watching christmas movies and like christmas episodes during the holiday season so this is right up my alley and then i did get three seasons of i love lucy I do already have a few seasons, so I might even have them all now after this, but um, very excited about that. And the best part about this um, is shipping is really expensive in Canada, but on Poshmark, they just have a flat rate shipping, so it makes it really great. So we got this huge box. I think the shipping is only $12.99 in total. So like just to put things into perspective for to mail one of these seasons in Canada would be like over $20. So it's a really good deal. So I ended up getting uh, a few seasons of the Cosby show. I think it's uh, the first six seasons in total because there's season one and two and three and four on um, just one set. So um, we've been watching the Cosby show actually. So I don't think um, it's like streaming anywhere anymore. And then I got this Munsters uh, two movie DVD. I love the Munsters. Honestly, 1960s TV is like my favorite era of TV. There's so many shows that I love from that era, but I love watching the Munsters and the Addams Family like in October before Halloween. <clears throat> and then um, John really likes the show How I Met Your Mother. I think he's watched it like <laughs> three or four times now um so he got two seasons of that i think he might have them all now um but i've never watched the show i do hear it's funny but i don't know i have a hard time getting into like newer tv <laughs> and then i got this smurfs dvd with um a few like christmas episodes on it which i love uh, the smurfs was one of my favorite cartoons when i was a kid in the 80s and then I love the Peanuts specials, so I got this Be My Valentine Charlie Brown, and then I think it comes with um, some extra specials as well, like extra cartoons. Um, and then I also got, it's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown, which I usually watch every Easter. I love that. And then that one also came with um, an extra little cartoon on it. 
And then we got season one and two of Boardwalk Empire, which I love Steve Buscemi like so, so much. Um, but I did try watching this show like a year or two ago and I just wasn't getting into it. But I, like I said, I do love him. So, and I generally do like HBO shows as well. I think they're really well done. So, uh, I figured we would give this one another try. I feel like maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it. I don't know. Anyway, I saved the best for last. This is one of the coolest box sets I think I've ever seen. Uh, so I saved the best for last. Um, it's so hard to do get this out one-handed, but it is the complete series of I Dream of Jeannie, which again, 1960s TV, some of my favorites. I love, love I Dream of Jeannie. I've actually been watching this. Um, it's been years. I'm still not done, <laughs> but uh, I've never watched it like from beginning to end before, but it's super cool. So I took it out so I could show you. I think I'm going to just leave it displayed like this because I just think it's really neat. Um, so it's Jeannie's bottle and then the discs are just like a piece that comes out. I always feel like um, it was more than just five seasons, I think just because, you know, they played reruns on TV for like probably 20 years. Anyway, um, it just kind of folds out like an accordion almost, or it reminded me of a slinky actually. Um, and then it does have little illustrations on the, on the discs. Um, so I'm so excited about this. I just think it's so cool. I've definitely seen this on eBay for like more than $100, which this person was selling it for 50 but um, it also came with these trading cards too, which are still sealed. I'm probably just going to leave them sealed. And this set was made in, in uh, I almost said 1998, in 2008. I think I'm just going to leave them sealed that way if I ever do want to sell it. It'd be worth more money. Um, but yeah, just for shipping, like to get this shipped to Canada from eBay probably would have been like... 40 or 50 dollars plus the cost of it so i thought this was a great deal so i think the person was having like a half off sale on everything so i don't know anyway that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm so excited <laughs> mainly about the i dream of genie thing but um anyway thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very soon